Hello everyone, so this is my 2023 calendar just got here in the mail. I'm super excited to unpack it myself and I know this is a video that a lot of you have been waiting for um, where I go over basically what's the star in a calendar. So this is the online version here. Awesome, awesome, awesome. Well, favorite astro images I have taken this year. And the cover, this is my probably favorite image, or definitely was favorite image when I was making this one. There's really close between a few of them here. Starting in January, there was just an incredible night on Mono Lake. You have so much green air glow right here. And it's that fainter part of the Milky Way with Cassiopeia right here. And also you have Andromeda, so you're getting two galaxies in one picture. And I just love how there was a little small town right here illuminated those clouds. But the color looks like it's sunset and sunrise. The greens in the air from air glow and the greens reflecting in the water and the warmth of this town illuminated those clouds that that was definitely one of my favorite images. Now going to February, this is actually the same night. Uh, this year we had a planet parade. So here you can see Jupiter, Mars, Pleiades and Venus rising reflecting on the water and we also have Aries constellation right here going to March it was during the new attack Hercules meteor shower which was pretty pretty good meteor shower although I got only one but I took in these photos and the car was so much higher on the horizon and those two Joshua trees here looking like they're holding hands and if you got my show edition for March we have this picture which is one of my favorite astronauts it was such a magical night in the middle of nowhere in Utah traveling cross-country with my cat sleeping in a car you have Jupiter and Saturn right here and the car driving by illuminated this road just perfectly Heading to April, we have this picture right here of Big Dipper here on the horizon. Big Dipper right here and also Polaris. And the sun was about to rise, so it's a little bit brighter on the horizon already. May picture, that was just a great night. We have half of the winter circle right here. Cassiopeia, Gemini's twins, Castor and Pollux, and that's crossing right here. So we have half of the circle reflecting in the water. And that was my mission for this year to incorporate more water in my shots, which can be challenging in <laughs> in the desert. And we also have part of Cancer constellation, that's the cluster right here. Here's June, and let me pause for a second, because I gotta say, this year, 2022, has been a really challenging year. It has been a pretty intense year for me, and not just in my personal life, and also later on when I jumped to doing art shows and different markets, it's been really intense traveling it in the same time. But also, the night sky was not most favorable because we had so many monsoons and on those nights that I would have uh, hope that maybe the monsoons will go away and the sky will clear the nature will send the sandstorm so here's the June monsoon picture and also July monsoon picture 
for this one I was traveling about three hours away to a location that turned to be completely cloudy it looked promising at sunset and then the clouds just kept rolling in and despite waiting in a car for a few hours there was no glimpse of it lighting up so I started heading back home and halfway through it I got a nice clear sky for about half an hour and a little bit of monsoon water. For our August picture, here's the fainter part of the Milky Way with Cassiopeia. You can't see it that well on that picture because unfortunately we are in California in Mojave Desert looking towards Vegas. You have a 15 freeway right here, but I think it's such a awesome shot with this weird looking Joshua tree. Alright, so September. That was actually one of my most popular pictures this year. And if you look at it, you may think, why? It's not even that dark location, there's plenty of clouds and like dirt, a little bit of water and a whole bunch of clouds. So, Here's what's really, really awesome about the picture. We had what's called a trifecta. We had Venus, Saturn and Mars really close together. And that alignment last time it happened from what I researched was 144 years ago. I was tracking five different locations on different weather apps, cloud radars to make that photo happen. The whole southwest was cloudy. And this location would the best, even that it was not the darkest, and I got only this one picture among several of them where you can see all three planets, and on top of that we have Crescent Moon Rising. So that's why this picture is so special, and heading to October, that's the cover picture right here, that's one of my favorite shots of this year. We have Scorpius going through the Milky Way core, Sagittarius on this side, and I wanted that picture to be partially water and desert for a Scorpio being a desert creature and a water sign. November we are back in Arizona, we have Hasegwar, Orion right here, you can see the nebula really clearly. December we have Winter Circle right here with Cyrus, Procyon, Castor and Pollux from Gemini, Capella, Aldebaran and Taurus, Rigel and Orion, and also we have Pleiades on the top. And what's really awesome about this year, we have Mars right here in the center right by the bull's horns hanging out. And this is also my very recent shot, so if you got one of the calendars at the show, you have also part of the winter circle here from a year or two before with Gemnet Meteor. That's another awesome part about December, we have the Gemnet Meteor Shower, which is the biggest meteor shower of the whole year. But that's not it. If you get in my online version of the calendar, you get a bonus January month here. And this is my most popular shot of the year. I just got it recently in November during the moon eclipse in Taurus. Pleiades right here. Taurus constellation, you have the bull's fates right here. And what's so amazing about this eclipse is it was happening right during the torrid meteor shower I got the fireball I still have 2022 version desert at night available if you like those images in your 2023 calendar however if you like this version make sure to select southwest nights for me it's so much easier to see everything at one glance in a physical calendar than clicking on each day on my phone that's it for this year's What's the Star in the Calendar and you can still get this one at nathaniels.com